I'm Anora Patel. I'm one of the founding team members for Vaxxas Technologies. My name is Michael Schrader. I'm also one of the co-founders for Vaxxas Technologies, currently serving in the CEO role. Mike and I are really excited that Vaxxas won the business plan track of the Harvard Business School competition. Vaxxas Technologies is commercializing a technology out of Tufts University that uses a silk solution to stabilize vaccines so that they don't need to be shipped refrigerated across the world. They take silk, like out of a silk cocoon, um, dissolve it, remove some of the proteins so that we're left with fibroin, and take that solution and you can add a vaccine and then dry it and you're left with a strip that you can ship on the world. 2.8 million people die every year from diseases that could be prevented by vaccines. To put this in contrast, uh, diabetes kills approximately 1.3 million and HIV kills approximately 1.8 million. So if you put that in perspective, uh, unlike those deaths due to diabetes and HIV AIDS, these people are dying from diseases for which we have a known means of prevention. It exists, it's well understood, it's simple, it's safe, it simply isn't reaching the people who need it most. When you put this technology in, so you might have a vaccine that's been around forever, like measles, and suddenly you can vaccinate 20% more people because you can finally get it to them. So I think not only is it a technology that's great you know, for the people getting the vaccines whose lives are being saved, but it's also kind of a breakthrough for the, the market that's available to these pharmaceutical companies. Most of the world's vaccine manufacturing is controlled by just a couple of companies right now. They're your big names, your Merck's, your Pfizer's, your GlaxoSmithKline's, and essentially they are the ones attempting to get their vaccines to people in these uh, developing parts of the world. The problem fundamentally is that the uh, ability to get these products to their final destination and keep them refrigerated throughout that entire process is a huge burden, both financially and simply uh, technologically at the same time. So ultimately what we're trying to do is partner with those pharmaceutical companies to get our technology into their current manufacturing process so the end product they're producing is thermostable and can be delivered to those people without any concern for keeping it cold throughout that delivery process. There are benefits in developed nations in terms of cost savings as well as developing nations in terms of increased access. So we really see benefits on both fronts. Ultimately we feel like this is going to completely disrupt the way that vaccines are distributed around the world. The end goal is that this technology will be adopted worldwide. Because